Hello, Aquarius. April Fools. The moon is square Saturn on April Fools Day when you might be playing pranks on some other people or they might be playing pranks on you. On the 8th, there's a Mercury conjunct Uranus. Now, Saturn is currently retrograde in Sagittarius. And Uranus is direct in Aries currently. Now, let's see how your ruling planets of Saturn and Uranus affect you this month, Aquarius. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Aquarius Angel, Cambriel who resides over your fixed air nature. And these are his messages for you in love, money, and health. First, of course, most important, the love transmission. And just as a point of fact, this transmission is being given to you through the mighty archangel Raphael, who's the archangel who rules over all the air signs. He's the divine physician and the divine healer. And he comes through to you from your teaching angel, Cambriel, who is helpful if you want to have more understanding or if you want to teach others or have others understand you better. That's Cambriel's department, who's specific for Aquarius and the humanitarian efforts of the Aquarian and the water bear, yes, that you are. All right, now, in matters of love, this is going to be a month when it matters of love, people are going to want to get revenge. Understand this. That means in friendships, in family, and, and in love relationships, people are going to want to get revenge. Whether it's through one venue or another, they're going to want to try to get some kind of revenge this month because there's a blood moon this month. You need to understand there's a blood moon. All right. Also, because of the Saturn retrograde in Sagittarius, that makes for some people who want to settle old scores because of their perceptions of how things should have been. And everybody's got their own story to tell, and there's always two sides to every story. So people have to make sure that they listen to all sides of the story and find out what came prior to something before one just focuses on one issue that somebody did. So people tend to hear what they want to hear. You need to understand that this month. People are going to hear what they want to hear. And understanding the energies will help you make it through this very uh, energetic and possibly difficult times. We're doing these videos to try to help people get through these these blood moons easier. Now on the fourth, it's the third blood moon in the Tetrad. It's a total lunar eclipse. The third blood moon in the Tetrad. It's in Libra. That's why people want to settle old scores. And lunar eclipses affect the soul, whereas solar eclipses affect the ego. The ego is represented in scripture by the nations. The soul is represented in scripture by Israel. It's, and again, lunar eclipses affect Israel or the soul. So this is a blood moon. It's, it's happening on Passover. And the next day, of course, is Easter, Easter Sunday, the 5th. So the next one, the 4th, in 2015 happens in September. So you, and you want to just be aware of these energies. All right. So vengeance is what people are going to want. And again, because for you in your ruling plan is Saturn and, and Uranus, because Saturn is retrograde in Sagittarius, people have perceptions, but their perceptions at the moment are older perceptions. They're, retrograde per, uh, perceptions of things that happened in the past, wanting to settle old scores. Again, focusing on one thing and nursing those old wounds, which by that, that's not a good thing to do. To nurse old wounds, and we all do it, but all that does is build up difficulties in the body because nursing old wounds can cause masses to form in the body. You don't want to do that. 
That's why, again, forgiveness is important. Because when you forgive, you give people back their own guilt, their own bad behavior, and let them deal with it, and you're free of it. You don't have to deal with it. You don't become sin. Jesus Christ became sin. The Father turned his back on him and that, and rejected him, and that was it. That was done. He suffered all that for you. You don't have to suffer it. Just give people back their sin. Let them deal with it. You don't have to hold on to it. That's all it means. Just give it back to them. Okay. Now, when Uranus goes direct in Aries, then philosophies are going to... Uh, well, excuse me, Uranus is already direct in Aries, but, but focusing on that aspect, on the 18th, there's a new moon in Aries. And that new moon in Aries puts sort of a wet blanket on this movement forward. This, when, when Uranus is direct in Aries, which it is currently, what happens is the philosophies for how you should be in matters of love or money or health is you better go for the gusto kind of a thing. Go for it, go for it, go for it, this kind of an issue. This is the, the, the thinking because of all this martial energy in the philosophical aspect. So how you can um, see that actually God helps you naturally is by throwing a new moon in Aries by this perfect clock that's been set up. It puts kind of a damper on that for a moment so people can catch their breath and calm down and be remember to be assertive and confident but not aggressive or arrogant. Confidence and, and arrogance are not the same thing. Confidence, you're sure of yourself. Arrogance is you're not sure of yourself and you're, you're trying to lord, you know, like lord it over people in kind of a, I'm better than you way because you're actually very insecure. So arrogance is not born of confidence. Arrogance is born of insecurity. Okay. And, and, of course, anger is born of fear. We understand that. All right. Now, money. How is this all going to affect your money? On the 6th, the, the, the sun conjunct Saturn. That's going to bring you a lot of good luck. Again, on the 6th, that's very good luck. The sun conjunct Saturn. And people uh, might get into stingy litigation because of the Saturn retrograde and Sagittarius aspect. So people maybe with greed being a focus and feeling very greedy might want to get involved in stingy litigation that actually won't go too far, again, because it's, it's a perception and it's retrograde, and when things are brought out, you know, the actuality, not just the perceptions, and all sides of the story are seen, litigation really isn't going to go very far, and besides, everybody's just way too stingy for that during this time. So that's how all this is going to affect money. So in other words, take advantage of opportunities, take advantage of good luck that happens on the 6th, and there's a lot of good, good luck aspects this month for you, Aquarius, in April, but you don't want to really get into things that are going to wear you down and give you negative energy and heavy energy. Again, nursing old wounds, that's not going to do you any good. That'll just hurt your body. Which brings us to Cambriel's health transmission. And in Cambriel's health transmission for your Aquarius, coming through the divine physician of Raphael, you want to understand that Uranus direct in Aries will quicken the pace. And that's why on the 18th, this new moon in Aries really helps it so that it doesn't get too quick of a pace. And you're going to think of all kind of great ways to get things to go faster. And this is going to be uh, in association with the lower part of the body because Aquarius, you know, Saturn and, and, and Uranus, it, it has to do with the lower part of the body. And this is the Aries is the head, and this gives you an ability to think of ways to to with your will, more of a willful thinking. Again, the martial will in Aries to sort of plow your way through situations. You might even do that physically, where you want to go faster, actually physically. Especially those of you who are into um, being high performance athletes, 
those of you who have, have honed your skills to such talent that you want to go to ultra, ultimate perfection. And that is fine. Uh, and you can do that. But just on the 18th, allow some rest because of the new moon in Aries. That doesn't mean it's bad luck. It just, that's a day when there'll be a little bit of a damper on it. And, and, you know, don't be upset if you have something you have to do on that day. Because actually, to be honest with you, it could go too fast and get you in trouble without that slight dampening effect. All things work for good. Remember, for those who love God and serve his purpose, as the good book says. Okay, start your day off with the good book. Whatever, read whatever scriptures you are into whatever scriptures you've chosen start your day with those scriptures no matter what it is and you'll do fine just follow the rules of your chosen religion or your chosen system whatever if it's if it's a scientific system follow it whatever it is start your day off right now on the 6th the sun conjunct saturn is going to be a day of great Healing for you, Aquarius. The sun conjunct Saturn. A great day of healing on the sixth, on the sixth. Did I said the sixteenth, excuse me. It's on the sixth, not the sixteenth. Pardon me. Again, on the sixth, the sun conjunct Saturn. Great for healing. Now, Aquarius, for your afterglow. The afterglow on the first, on April Fools, the moon square Saturn means that you're going to be getting into some April Fools pranks going both ways. On the second, Mercury trine Saturn. It's a good day for brainstorming. On the fourth, the blood moon in Libra. The total lunar eclipse always happens on a full moon. The total lunar eclipse in Libra, remember, goes after the soul, not the ego. The soul. On the 16th, Sun conjunct Saturn. On the 8th, Mercury conjunct Uranus. On the 18th, New Moon in Aries. And on the 26th, Venus sextile Uranus. Now, remember, Saturn is transiting retrograde in Sagittarius. And Uranus is transiting direct in Aries. These are current situations we're not talking about anything you know uh sudden these are these are the current transits of these planets through these signs okay aquarius thank you for joining us i'm pastor rosemary the astrology angel and join us again next month